Another person has been arrested in connection with the death of DJ Howard. The 21-year-old was apparently shot to death back in January. 23-year-old Brandon Jackson is the latest person indicted by a grand jury, making it four people charged in this case. Fox 10 News reporter Corey Pippen talked to Howard's family today and has the latest. While many are spending Thanksgiving with family, the family of DJ Howard are approaching their first holidays without their loved one. You know that something is missing. When you have that person there physically, you can hug them, you can tell them that you love them. You know, but once the opportunity is gone, it's gone. It's a day after they say a fourth person was arrested in connection with this killing. Brandon Jackson is charged with hindering prosecution first degree. His arrest comes nearly a month after Jamon Lawrence was charged with hindering prosecution and first-degree abuse of a corpse. Deputies say he helped dump Howard's body in Mobile. Earlier this year, both 22-year-old Emmanuel C.J. Jenkins and 24-year-old Bruce Salter were charged with capital murder. Quentin Howard, D.J.'s cousin, says the family has leaned on each other more during this tragedy. It makes you call, you know, once more than you did before. Or it makes you know, you know, uh, stop by and visit a little longer, you know, than the last time you visited. You just want to be assured that your loved ones are okay, you know, because you never know what's going to happen next. Howard says the suspects were friends with DJ and often spent time around his family. DJ's mother, Miriam, told me here at her Fairhope home that Jackson's arrest didn't come as a surprise, as she thought from the beginning that he was somehow involved. Still, she says she hopes this is the last arrest, and now the truth of what happened the night DJ was killed can come out. It's a sense of relief knowing that they're getting closer to, uh, you know, solving a lot of mysteries that we definitely have. Then again, like I said, it's a sad situation. This is just another young person who's, in a sense, lost their life. Reporting from Fairhope. Corey Pippen, Fox 10 News. Now Jackson is in jail under a $50,000 bond. Salter and Jenkins remain in the Baldwin County Jail under